The smoke distracts her, but I still can't get past her. Well, the connection is established. and you just look on. Um, wh what's, what's up? What, what are you doing here? I, I didn't say anything. You are a brat. Apologize. Uh, um, I'm sorry? For what? For, for the things I said. And what did you say? Nothing. Uh-oh. Now I did it. A discarded scientist against Bonnie and Clyde. Gee, that should be fun. I don't understand much about you and your time, but I don't deserve that. So stop changing the subject and tell me why. Faye! Faye! Faye, 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 the door! What? Bent? Looks like the tables have turned. Bent, let me out! I don't doubt you pursue a noble cause, but the end doesn't always justify the means. I'm sorry, Bent. I was against violence. That was Augie's idea. I couldn't. I can't. We need you. So much depends on you. I've had enough of your lies. Bent, billions of people will die, and only you can save them. Nonsense. One man responsible for the future of mankind? I don't think so. It's true. Each one man. And you in particular. Please, let me tell you the rest of the story. It doesn't take place in the future, but here in Norway. Maybe that will be easier for you to believe. I would love to believe that my algae will one day power the whole world. But one thing's for certain, I'll not leave it in your hands. You gambled away my trust. But what will happen with it? I'm the only one left that still believes in your research. You don't even believe in it anymore. Enough. No more fooling around. Faye, look, I'm gonna help you. Just you wait and see. One, two, three, and... <clears throat> Talked about this like adults, but you don't leave me a choice. Uh, I will never, ever... Mm. Ha! Told you so. The old goat is almost done in for. He's right. The old goat is almost done in for. Time for plan B. Great idea. Well... And now, leave me alone, please. How can you be so stubborn? Excuse me? How can you spurn your responsibilities like that? Huh. Now you listen to me. My whole life, I fought to prevent the kind of world you described. I was so possessed with the future, I even sacrificed my family for it. And then, out of the blue, a woman knocks on my door and dares to tell me I spurn my responsibilities? I... I didn't know that. I just want to be left in peace, for Christ's sake. And since I can't get that here, I'm going to call the authorities now. I'm sorry. So am I. Hello? Mayday! Mayday! I am being kidnapped. Can someone hear me? Hello? I can hear you. Who's there? My name is Ben Svensson. I am being held by a group of maniacs. Svensson? Yes. I think I'm on board a helicopter. I've no idea what they are planning. They came to my house, told me some fairy tales. Then they knocked me out. I'm being kidnapped, for Christ's sake. Do you read me? Hello? Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Turn on the monitor. Beg your pardon? Do you see that, Svensson? Do you see that? It's not a fairy tale. 
It's the truth. No. Take a good look, Bend. What you are seeing is your future. No. Liars. Crooks. Curse you. I'll... Yeah, that's how I reacted, too. I think it's time to tell the rest of the story. Oh, may I? Don't get me wrong, but your version always sounds so... dry. May I introduce myself? My name is Life Ogerson, but my friends call me Agi. I'm a freelance journalist. I was working on my report about the demonstration in front of the headquarters of the Energy Inspection Authority. I was sitting right there at the cutting desk when it happened. Who's there? What? We are here. She really did it. Radio operator Faye sabotaged the Phoenix plan. Ooh, I feel sick. Pull yourself together. What <coughs> are all these people doing here? Why don't you tell me? You are the specialist, after all. Mmm. Looks like they are here for the conference, too. Bah! They won't get anywhere just standing around waving posters. That's why we jumped back to this time. Because people were all talk and no action. That's not fair, Salvador. They don't know what we know. They don't know that they only have a week left before the accident in the Indes power plant happens. And they don't know about the consequences. If I could just find a way to join the conference, then I could find a way to convince them to shut down the power plant. Do you really believe they'll listen to you? I... I don't know. I hope they will. Then I'm hoping you can deal with the pressure. You know what's on the line. Oh, dear. A thick brown liquid drips from the machine into a kind of glass pot. Must be some synthetic nutrient that keeps...
Protect the environment before it's too late. Protect the environment before it's too late. Yes, you are right. If no nuclear power. No nuclear power. No nuclear power. We have to shut down the Indes power plant immediately, or else... Or else what? You don't decide that. Those who have any say in the matter are attending the conference inside. And even they only listen to what experts like this Dr. Brown tell them. Brown? He's just a puppet of the industry. Pfft. Always these conspiracy theories. You'd better save your shouting for something else. Bugger off! Hello. May the Earth be with you. What can we do for you? I'm looking for a way to join the conference. If you don't have an invitation or are a member of the press, they won't let you in. But I have an important message for the conference. If they extend the license for the power plant, something terrible is going to happen. They don't care. The only thing they care about is money. And then they use this expert, Dr. Brown, as an excuse. The decision will depend on his report. But they bought him, too. And why are you here if they've already made up their mind? We want to show them how many people are against nuclear power plants. Maybe they will reconsider. What do you think about the doorman? He doesn't look like a nice guy. More like a thug. But so far, he kept his head. I hope it will stay this way. I have some hot coffee for you. Oh, thank you. That's really nice. Could I borrow your megaphone real quick? Hmm. What do you need it for? Well, I want to get a message across to people who refuse to listen. Sounds familiar. Okay, you can have it. We have a spare one anyway. But you'll bring it back. Promise? I will. Promise. Hello? Yes? May I enter? Only if you can identify yourself. Do you have an invitation to the conference, or are you a member of the press? I... I am a member of the press. Fine. Show me your press card. Um... I don't have it with me. Then go get it. You won't get in without a press ID. Sorry. Are you listening to music so you won't hear the protesters? No, it helps me to relax. My doctor prescribed it because I was really edgy in the past. And my job is to keep calm. So you don't have anything against the protesters? Quite the opposite. I understand them. I even separate my trash at home. Besides, this is a pretty peaceful protest. Last week, I had to work a protest of left-wing radicals. You wouldn't believe the things they shout at you. I could still breathe fire and brimstone when I think of it. Only because I don't have any hair anymore, they were calling me a skinhead. But they were right. You were bald. What did you just say? Get lost. If there's one thing I can't tolerate, it's people making fun of my hairdo. What hair? Um... Oh, okay, I got it. Why are you so aggressive when people ask about your... About my what? Um, about your ears. My ears, huh? Because they are such an eye-catcher if you have no hair, right? No, that's not what I... Yeah, right. That's what they all say. But I can feel them staring at my chrome dome anyway. I'll be back later. As you like it. I won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Energy Oslo. I hope that's not the same company that built these smoking chimneys everywhere. There is a ventilation shaft behind the partition. If the partitions weren't closed, I could use the ventilation shaft to get into the building. It can't be open from the outside. 